Uh, hello, I'm Robert Purvis. I work at the Manchester College uh, in a small section called the Arden on a BA Honours in Musical Theatre. Uh, I'm a conductor, so most of my work comes from teaching harmony, teaching ensemble. Uh, currently working with a group of second years, and the task is to create um, a quartet from a solo. So they will, they will choose a solo, and they've got to create four-part harmony to uh, work the assessment. Um, so uh, this was my concern at two o'clock this morning when I was suddenly awake thinking, how do I help them? So um, loud and clear, the answer came back, Jenga. Uh, Jenga I knew was going to be 12 pounds and upwards. So um, uh, Linda and I um, went to several places uh, and then got a, a miraculous call from Neil uh, and so we scampered across town to the Poundland um, who weren't pleased to see us. But anyway, we did find stacking towers. So, with each, there are four colours, soprano, alto, tenor bass. So we all have your colour and gradually as you put down the, the Jenga, you would sing a note. So they would build up chords. Four chords, then you start again. Four chords, four chords up you go until you start pulling out and removing. This is when we get into the crunch chords, um, the, close, the close harmony. Um, which is which is what they need to do. It's dangerous and it takes risks. So easy to walk through, isn't it? Okay. Hi, I'm Linda Duper Marshall, and I teach psychology. And in a few weeks, I'm teaching about psychosis and schizophrenia to level six psychology students. And presumably know much about it. And my task for them is to help them to look at this problem in a compassionate and humanistic way. I want them to consider that mental health exists on a continuum. It's not just a bunch of crazy people, horrible, mad, bizarre people that have schizophrenia and psychosis. So how to do this? So Rob and I worked, I had an idea about the label and how the label hurts and the idea was to get a plaster or a band-aid as we call it in my home country. And so um, Rob helped me to, Robert helped me to develop that idea and to write on the plaster one of the diagnoses like paranoid schizophrenia. So I went to Boots and I bought the generic to save money, washproof plasters. And I thought, okay, that's only 20 and I have more than 30. So I bought two, went to the register, and they said, but they're three for two. Aha! Uh -huh. So three items. I was so excited. It was just by accident. So now I have three of them. Then you take them out at the beginning of class, we'll put it on, we'll take them from a hat. Then they'll say to the person next to them, hello, Linda, I'm paranoid schizophrenic. Just have that feeling. Then I'm going to teach them about the various things, and then we'll have them take it off afterwards and see and process what that was like for them. So that's my idea. Yes. I thought we worked great together. Linda was eagle-eyed, and as soon as she got to the first toy shop, she said, OK, doesn't stack, but here's some coloured strings. So this was great. And then uh, uh, it was fantastic that then, then you guided me through stacking boxes in, in, in uh, boots. Yes. Um, so it was really good, and we developed. With Linda, we developed the idea of the plasters, maybe writing on them, yes. and then different ways um, to, to bring out um, the task yes. Yes, you said, how are you going to use it? How are you going to make it work? Yes. That was very helpful. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. We had a great time. A lot of laughs. And I think a lot of success. Yes.